back everyone to Try Before You Buy. I'm your host Claire Toomey, back this week to tell you where you're putting your disposable income. Let's dive into this week's stock. Today, we are talking about Berkshire Hathaway. With the tickers BRK.B and BRK.A, it was founded in the 1800s and it is a multinational conglomerate. Some of their more notable subsidiaries being Dairy Queen, Geico, and Orange Julius. We talk a lot on here about diversified profile, and this is a diversified conglomerate, which as we all know equals safety. It has a revenue of 276.1 billion, and it let's start it. The CEO, Warren Buffett, as we all know, he's a big icon here, one of the greatest investors in history. We love him. Let's see what kind of company he's giving us today. Okay, the difference between BRKA and BRKB is the price. BRKB is definitely better for small investors with the price being $301. So that's the one that we're gonna focus on today. Okay, let's evaluate whether or not Warren Buffett gave us a great company. All right, starting with the ROE, which means the return on equity. Return on equity is essentially helping us to identify how profitable a company is and how efficiently they're generating that profit. This is a terrific indicator of a great company, so let's see how BRK.B is doing with it. We'd love to see this beating the benchmark by 4.19. For ROE, the goal is to be above the benchmark, so they're doing great here. Okay, three-year revenue growth speaks for itself. Let's see how much money a company is bringing in on a longer-term basis so we can decide how much money the company will bring to us as investors. As we can see, the three-year revenue growth, it's still beating the benchmark by 4.7. We'd love to see it, this is great. Okay, the net margin assesses how well the company is handling their operating costs and how well they're generating profits. BRK.E is beating the benchmark by almost five times more. And with the currently expanding net margin, we see the company increasing its net margin's worth and we will continue to see it grow. Okay, three year EPS growth without NRI. EPS growth, that is earnings per share, this is another great way to find out how profitable the company is. The higher the EPS, the more money the company can give to its shareholders. This stat is actually insane, beating the benchmark by 180. It does not get better than this. The profitability is through the roof and it's impossible to ignore. Okay, now let's evaluate the price points. How much are we paying? Is it fair? Is it worth it? Let's dive in and find out if Warren Buffett is giving us a good price. Okay, forward rate of return is looking at the interest rates to evaluate the future yield of the company. As we see, BRK.B is beating another benchmark for the forward rate of return by 8.02. The PE ratio is evaluating the past performance of a company in order to determine its true value. It shows if your money is being well spent on a share. This stat is a little different from the others because we are measuring it against the benchmark in a different way. In this case, we want the number to be lower than the benchmark because a higher number can indicate that we are getting the share at a fair value. As we can see, we're beating the benchmark by being below. Okay, the PEG ratio, again, we're looking for the lower numbers. The PEG ratio is going to tell us essentially the same thing as the PE ratio. The PEG is just an advanced version of the PE ratio because it accounts for the expected earnings growth in the calculation. This is telling us that the stock is undervalued and well-priced. The margin of safety. Now we are looking for those high numbers with the margin of safety. Margin of safety is simply, essentially gauging the risk faster. The higher the number, the lower the risk. The stats for BRK.B's margin of safety are actually insane. With a benchmark of one, Berkshire Hathaway is beating it by 70%. The risk is so low for this company that you might as well invest your total income because you won't want to miss out on this insanely good opportunity. To buy or not to buy. If you ask me, the statistics speak for themselves. So if you're looking to make money in the long term, this is a great company at a very good price that you can invest in for a safe and smart addition to your intentional stock portfolio. That's all we have for today. Tune in next week to see where you should be putting your disposable income.